Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded square EFTP, fully confined uh, in the blue square ABCD and this uh, line segment uh, GC. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AF is three units, whereas uh, this segment uh, FB is four units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square uh, EFTP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know that this uh, blue square ABCD is a square. So that means all the sides uh, have equal length. And we know this uh, side AB length is going to be 3 plus 4 is going to make it uh, 7 units. So therefore uh, this side is going to be 7 units. Uh, this side is 7, 7 uh, and uh, 7 across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. I'm going to label uh, this uh, side uh, lowercase uh, a. And I'm going to label uh, this side uh, as uh, x units. And since we are dealing with this uh, green shaded square EFTP, if this side length uh, is x, uh, then this side length is going to be x, uh, x, uh, and x uh, across the board. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, PQ on this side uh, BC, as you can see. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. Let's assume that this angle is our angle alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now we know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is our angle beta. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle EPQ. We know this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is uh, alpha. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, the right triangle uh, EFB and the other right triangle EPQ are our congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. So therefore we conclude that the side length uh, EQ is going to be equal to the side uh, FB. We can see this uh, segment uh, is our EQ and this is our uh, FB length and we know our uh, FB length is uh, 4 so therefore our this uh, EQ length has got to be 4 units as well and likewise uh, PQ segment is going to be equal to EB length and here's our uh, PQ segment uh, is going to be equal to this uh, BE length and we know our this uh, BE segment length is A so therefore uh, this uh, PQ segment length is going to be lowercase a as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle PQC since this is our 90 degree angle and this angle is beta so therefore uh, this uh, tiny angle has got to be angle alpha and we know this angle is a 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, the right triangle uh, PQC and other uh, right triangle EPQ are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words, uh, the ratio of this uh, side EQ and the side PQ is going to be equal to the ratio of the side PQ and the side uh, QC. And now we can see our uh, EQ length uh, is uh, 4 
units so i'm going to replace that one with four over here our segment uh, pq length uh, is uh, lowercase a so i'm going to replace that one with the lowercase a and once again this uh, pq segment length is going to be lowercase a as well we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we got uh, four times uh, q c is going to be equal to a times a is going to be a square and now we are going to divide both sides uh, by four this four and four is gone so therefore our uh, q c segment length uh, turns out to be a square uh, divided by four so therefore our this uh, tiny length q c turns out to be a square divided by four and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length of this uh, blue square bc is going to be equal to the sum of these three segments uh, be length eq length and finally qc length as you can see in this given uh, equation bc is equal to be plus eq plus qc and now we can see our this whole uh, bc length is uh, seven units so i'm going to replace that one with the seven units over here our uh, b e length is lowercase a so i'm going to replace that one with lowercase a this uh, e q length uh, is uh, four units so i'm going to replace that one with four and finally this uh, q c segment length is a square divided by four so i'm going to replace that one with a square divided by four and now I'm going to move this uh, four on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now on the left hand side, seven minus four is going to give us three equal to a plus uh, a square divided by four. And now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by four across the board. And here three times four is going to give us 12 equals to four times a plus uh, 4 and 4 is gone that is going to give us uh, a square and now i'm going to move this uh, 12 on the other side so therefore we can write uh, a square plus uh, 4 times a minus 12 equal to 0 and now we can see we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it with the uh, grouping uh, and uh, factoring and now we are going to tweak this uh, middle term 4a could be written as uh, 6a uh, minus uh, 2 times uh, a as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see between the first uh, two terms uh, a is in common and between last two terms uh, negative 2 is in common so therefore we can write uh, a times uh, a plus 6 and here we can factor out uh, negative 2 so we got uh, a plus 6 uh, is going to be equal to 0 and here we can see a plus 6 and a plus 6 is in common so therefore we can write uh, a minus 2 times uh, a plus 6 uh, equal to 0 and now we are going to separate these two factors for this uh, first equation our a value turns out to be 2 units and for this uh, next equation a value is going to be negative uh, 6 and now we can see a has a negative value and that is not feasible since a represents the side length so therefore we are going to accept this uh, positive value of uh, a which is 2 and we are going to reject this uh, negative value so thus our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 2 units and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle EFB and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are 4 and uh, 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, 2 square plus uh, 4 square is going to be equal to x square or simply x square is going to be equal to 20 so thus our x square value turns out to be 20 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area 
of this uh, green shaded uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this uh, green shaded square is uh, x so therefore uh, the green square area is going to be equal to x square but then x square value is 20 so i'm going to replace that value 20 over here so therefore uh, the green square uh, area turns out to be 20 square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 20 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye